Hi everyone, this is Nishanti P, Assistant Professor, Department of ECE at KIT Kalinger Karnanadi Institute of Technology. Today we are going to discuss about the topic Phonocardiography, which is AP PCG. What is AP PCG? The graphic record of the heart sounds is called phonogram because the sound is from the heart, it is called phonocardiogram. The instrument used to measure the heart sound is called phonocardiograph. This instrument uses a phonocatheter, a device similar to a conventional catheter with a microphone at its tip. The basic aim of phonocardiograph is to pick up the different heart sounds, filter out the heart sounds and to display them or to record them. Heart sounds are acoustic phenomena resulting from the vibrations of the cardiac structures. Acoustic events of the heart can be divided into two categories. One is a heart sounds and second one is about murmurs. Heart sound is a transient characteristic with short duration that is during closing and opening of valves. Murmur is noisy characteristics with long duration which is turbulent blood flow in heart. Now we are going to see about the origin of sound. The origin of sound is from four areas, wall opening and during wall closure and during movement of heart wall and extra cardiac sounds. Practically all heart sounds and murmurs are made up of frequencies between 10 to 1000 Hz. Within this range, they are orbitally divided into low, medium and high pitch categories depending upon which frequency predominates. The low range is from 10 to 60 Hz and it is represented by the third and fourth heart sounds. The medium range is 60 to 150 Hz and it is represented by the first and second heart sounds. The high range is about 150 to 1000 Hz and also it is about amplitude and quality. The first sound is during closure of mitral and tricuspid valves. As we have seen the frequency here is about 30 to 100 hertz and the duration is about 50 to 100 milliseconds. And second sound during the closure of aortic and pulmonary valves. Here the frequency is about 30 to 100 hertz. Duration is about 25 to 50 milliseconds. The third and fourth is very low intensity and it is inaudible which will be heard only among children. Third sound is during blood rapid movement into relaxed ventricular chambers. Frequency ranges from 10 to 100 hertz and duration is from 0.04 to 0.08 seconds. And the fourth sound is during arterial contraction which is the final sound of the heart. Here the frequency ranges from 10 to 50 hertz and the duration is about 0.03 to 0.06 seconds. While recording PCG, we are using a microphone setup. The conversion of the hot sounds into electrical signals can be done using a variety of transducer via only this microphone. Hence we are converting a microphone into two types. First one is the crystal microphone and second is a dynamic microphone. Crystal microphone which will contain a wafer of piezoelectric material which generates potentials when subjected to mechanical stresses due to hot sound. It will be very smaller in size but will have a high sensitivity. And the second one is about dynamic microphone. It consists of a moving coil having a fixed magnetic core inside it. The coil moves with the hot sound and produce a voltage because of interaction with the magnetic flux. Also we use some acoustic sensors which will be polymer based and also we will be using some output sensors. We have some writing methods in PCG that is about light beam galvanometer and direct writing recorders whose frequency is upper range which is 150 Hz and here we use an envelope detection technique. Also we will be using fans, air conditioners and other noise producing gadgets will result in artifacts on this recordings. So this is the waveform of the hot sound in PCG recording. The waveform will contain S1, S2 and S3 and S4. The S1 is explained about onset of the ventricular contraction and this S2 represents the closure of the semilunar valves.
and S3 is about ventricular gallop and S4 which explains the arterial gallop. And other waveform here explains the opening snap and ejection sound and some murmurs of the heart sounds. And this is the recording setup of the PCG waveform. So the recording setup consists of the components, condenser microphone, phono amplifier, filter, monitor scope, ECG electrode, ECG amplifier and finally a tape recorder. So this block diagram represents the recording setup. Initially the hot sounds are converted into electrical signals by means of a hot microphone first into the chest wall by a strip. The pickup is successively located at different areas. The electrical signals from microphone are amplified by pre-amplifier followed by a filter and recorder. Further, the electrodes are also placed on the limbs to pick up the electrical activity of the heart and these signals are amplified and recorded. So this recorded ECG is used as a reference for our PCG. So this is the explanation for this PCG recording setup. Here we have some medical applications for the PCG and the uh, main application is about rheumatic valvular lesions and the second one is about murmurs of aortic stenosis, the murmurs of aortic regurgitations and the murmurs of mitral regurgitation, the murmurs of the mitral stenosis. Those are the main medical applications in PCG. We have some special applications uh, for PCG which is a fetal PCG, esophageal PCG and tracheal PCG that is about the cannula. These are some main special applications while we are recording the PCG setup. Thank you.